Welcome back to the second edition of Buttered Barbell. Today we're going to talk about training philosophy, my comeback, and why I do what I do. So here we go. My training split is basically come to the gym, make sure you got about two hours available to you, and max out on the snatch, the clean and jerk, and either a front squat or back squat. Towards the beginning of my comeback, it was mostly back squatting that I did, uh, a la average bros gym. But as you can see here, my weakness is my front squat. I mean, look at that upper back cave in. So I've since switched to a lot more front squatting just to bring up that upper back. Um, so I'd, hopefully my clean will go up. Look at this, since doing Bulgarian, I'm not caving forward and as a week into training and I'm already stronger. Up. I'm gonna be quiet for this sequence because I love it. Oh. 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 the Bulgarian system at work. Sometimes you got that lift in you, other times, well, oh my goodness, you get spit out by a PR clean, and then you get spit out again. And then you try to PR on your snatch, and it's just not there. So, the reason I like this style of training, I can't say it's Bulgarian, I'm not Bulgarian or on some crazy Olympic team or or train as often as those guys, but the philosophy is basically the same, where I just am always practicing the lifts, the, the full lifts, and going up as heavy as I can every day. And I liken this to working on a golf swing, okay? It's a full body movement with an external object, and basically you're just trying to get your technique down perfect. You go to the driving range, you're going to work through your irons and then you're going to build up to your driver every time you go. It's not, it's not just a nine iron day, you know? Uh, so if you guys follow that analogy, you know, eventually in my workout session on snatch and clean and jerk, I'm going to build up to my driver. Still follow me. All right. And in this way, I'm practicing the full movement and I'm just chipping away at these new PRs. So if 225 or 260 is the new number, I'm just working steadily at like very, very high percentages of those weights and getting the technique down, simultaneously training my nervous system and my, uh, and my muscles just to be ready for me to hit that new PR. The reason I like training this way is when you're doing the full lifts and you know, you're doing them one at a time. It's like practicing for a competition. You're not going to be as sore because you don't constantly have a bar in your hands and uh, weighing on your body. And volume is kind of regulated by just how many attempts you take that day. So if I'm feeling really good, I'll maybe build up a snatch to 225. <laughs> Probably fail there because I've only done it once. And then fail maybe once or twice and then just go back down and do another wave. And that's how I kind of increase my volume at those higher percentages like we were discussing. And then do the same thing with clean and jerk. If it's a one wave day, you do one wave up to, uh, you know, your max weight for that day. And wave just being, okay, so this is uh, 225, 235 coming up. Probably what happened in this day is I started at 135, went 155, 175, 185, 205, 215, and then eventually got up to this weight 235. This is going to be a successful attempt, and that might be my workout for the day. If I'm feeling really ambitious, I would do another wave. But, you know, it was kind of shady. It was late at night. I was tired, so I didn't do it. So, again, when you train this way, the time under tension, just the, the time you spend with, like, a bar weighing on your body and you know kind of stressing out your muscles is minimal in this way you're able to stay fresh and train a lot i guess the big uh the catch here is that 
you have to make sure your technique is perfect. I mean, we just saw in the video, I take some attempts that maybe I shouldn't take only because my technique breaks down and then I put myself in a more uh, injury prone position. So here we go, working on practice and mobility, something I'm working on because I'm constantly working on the lifts, which is very important, is starting that first pull with my shoulders over the bar. I don't do a great job of it there, but I'm trying to mimic what I'm seeing a lot in Russian weightlifters. And that's, uh, they're just able to set their hips, you know, up, still above their knee. I'm talking about the first pull right now. Still above their knee, definitely below their shoulders, but just that perfect angle. So when they start the first pull, from the first pull to the initiation of the second pull, the back angle doesn't really change. And then they just open up the chest from there for like a picture perfect finish. And I, I just love watching them lift. And I think my body type with the, my longer legs kind of matches up with a lot of those athletes. So maybe that's a good tip for anybody who's interested in learning how to weight lift. Find somebody who looks like you. Um, yeah, look at those legs. I'm so lanky. So I'm, find somebody who looks like you and, and mimic their style for a little bit and then tweak it from there. So an example of that is uh, Opti uh, Akedov. I'm going to butcher his name. Uh, Olympic silver medalist and I think uh, maybe, yeah, world champion or European champion. Uh, we have a similar body type. I mean, clearly he's a lot buffer than I am, but... <laughs> But uh, I, earlier in the, that first sequence of lifts, I was trying to mimic his foot position and kind of his back angle and where his shoulders are during the lifts. And that was working to a point, but then I found out that I really prefer to have my feet forward. And so now, because I practice the lift so much, all of this Bulgarian style, air quotes, I'm able to really hone my style of lifting and practice the lifts a lot. So this is the last lift of the video. My shoulder's bothering me, so I haven't been jerking a lot. Here's a mobility PR for me. I'm almost to the point where I can squat with my feet together, a la K-Star. Check out mobilitywad.com. I don't know if I'm allowed to even endorse that, but who cares? Nobody's watching this. <laughs> In summation, Bulgarian style training is great because you're constantly working on the lifts at a very high percentage, which is just like practicing any skill, golf, hockey, any sport really. And you're not sore. And if you're smart about it, there's less chance of injury. All right, that'll do it. Thanks a lot for watching.